Hey everybody, Mikey here from the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. Say listen up, I have a brand new Afghan kit. This is the very first product ever for the Crochet Crowd. I am so, so excited because my design is available in a kit. In today's video, I'm going to take you through some of the design thoughts that I had in mind when designing this Afghan. And then I'm going to show you the colorways that are available because it's not just this one color. There are five colors and I'm going to tell you how you can get your hands on this kit. And by the way, there will be a free video tutorials coming out in January 2016 showing you how to do this. So even if you can't read a pattern, you can still get your hands on the uh, kit and I'll be able to show you how to play. And that's coming up right after this. So very quickly, let me tell you how this afghan came to be. So yarnspirations.com came to me and says, we would like to put an afghan of yours online and we'd like to make a kit that matches your design. So can you please come up with the design? We're gonna give you a couple weeks in order to design this afghan. And I was like, what? And because basically the sky's the limit. Do I do squares? Do I do a one piece? Do I do many, many other ideas. If it's too simple, why would you want it? If it's too complicated, then people are gonna fail. So then there's that balance of trying to figure out the right design in order to match my level of teaching here on YouTube. So the first thing when it comes to designing is how much is the afghan going to cost? So when I was looking at it, what yarns am I going to choose? Can it be affordable? Because I know I look online and I make a decision based on what I can afford. So I was very sensitive to, to choose a color line that had lots of vibrant and fun and trendy colors, but also be very affordable at the same time. So the next major thing I had to think about is that if I'm going to do a multiple piece afghan instead of a one piece, what are people going to feel about that? So I was trolling on Facebook in the spring of 2015 and I put out there, do people like to sew their Afghan squares together? Well, most people said, oh, they don't mind, but it has to be fabulous. And some people are just like, no, 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 never going to do it. And other people says, you know, it's no trouble. It's, it's therapy. <laughs> so I went with the majority on this one and I decided to leave the darning needle in the box and decided to make hexa hexagons that can be a uh, together instead of uh, sewn together at the end. So this is one of those projects where you don't have to do all the pieces and then have to dread the sewing at the end because the final rounds are going to be attaching to its neighbor. So I'm giving you a little bit of break with that. It came down to the final design of the project and I really just decided to sit on the couch, relax and just let the stitches talk to me. Where do I want the texture? I want three dimensionals. I want uh, the yarn to lift up. I want that sense of color to go pop <laughs> just like so. So I just put my, my hook into the wind and I just started playing with different ideas. Now when you're designing, any designer knows is that you're going to have success moments and then you're going to have a whack of frogging. So success frog, success frog and then and somehow you have to <laughs> begin to step two steps forward and only one step back and then three steps forward and only one step back. So I came up with an idea that was one color so that I could worry about the colors afterward and as I was designing I w had a big piece of paper and I was writing down my instructions as I was going on it. So it was just one of those ideas. One thing that is always critical in an afghan is that will it sit down flat? So you can see in the photos it's not buckling at any point. So it was really kind of difficult me as being really an amateur designer to be able to create enough stitches within each other without it buckling as it came up. So um, you can see within my project here which I won't show you too closely because <laughs> I don't want to see how messy my work is. But the reality is, is that there was lots of stitch counting in order to really figure out it so that it wouldn't buckle. So that was really kind of a key factor. So the next trick that we came up with is that what do we do with colors? So now I have my design here. What do I need to do to make a pop? So I came up with this particular design on my own and I really liked how the oranges and the limes and the blues popped from each other but I know it's kind of eccentric. So 
when I went to Yarn Inspirations and I showed them this design they said this is a cool design uh, but it's not for everybody and I can agree with that because it's really meant for me because this is the one I like the best. So what they said you need to go back to the table and come up with four other color lines that are available for your same pattern. So this is where Diva Dan comes into play. So this is called a color shade and there are 79 different colors within the family of yarn and so Daniel just pulled apart all the different colors and laid them all out to come up with um, four other color schemes which include this one right here and we decided to call the names all different something different something really kind of fun and funky. So we came up with the different names as we can see so if we roll it over in the back so we have the green color called the Enchanting Grove. Um, this one here is Boldly Urban the one that I really like the best, Boldly Urban. We have the Calm Ocean Breeze and then we also have the purple one that's called Peaceful Metals and then the one that's kind of really funky is called Refreshing Soda. And so we decided to come up with some kind of really funky cool names so that it's easy to remember but also cool at the same time. So the next step in the process is that we have to start making the samples. We've decided our colors and we, we decided to make the afghans and then make a judgment call. Just because it looks good as a yarn ball doesn't mean it looks good as a final product and all five samples came out amazing as far as I was concerned. Now I am Canadian and Yarn Inspirations is as well so we have to make sure that we are in compliance with the language laws so we not only have English language on the front side but we also have French on the back and the instructions inside are also included in French and English to be compliant with the language laws. And so it's actually kind of neat. Also the pattern includes not just the written instructions but two crochet diagrams. You will get a crochet diagram for the actual hexa hexagon itself and then if you look at closely there are three partial hexagons and there's a diagram available for that as well. So fast forwarding to today, it's now been six months since the original design that I came up with has been in the works. So it's gone from all the way from the design from my head all the way from the color choosing to writing the instructions in both English and French and doing the crochet diagrams, doing up the packaging and then getting it available at the distribution center so that you can order online. So coming up in January of 2016 you're going to be able to follow a crochet along with me with this particular design. It's a four week program so even if you can't read the instructions you don't like reading the crochet diagrams <laughs> you can follow me on camera and we're going to go through all the steps to make this particular afghan. Now that pattern will be free available at the end of 2015 but right now as this kit goes out the pattern will be held and only inside of the kit for this time. So anybody that purchases this kit right now will get the pattern and everything inside of the kit but you'll have to wait if you're looking for the free pattern later on in this year and we will have it available for you for the crochet line in 2016. So now comes the time you can now begin to order your kits from Yarnspirations.com. The advantage to purchasing these kits is that as I mentioned there are 79 different colors within the Bernat Super Value line it may be very difficult to be able to find these colors in a retailer near you and it just makes sense to be able to purchase one of these kits on your inspirations. Now we also have a frequent shoppers card that is available until the end of December of 2015 and I will provide a link in that of more information if you sign up for that card which costs you nothing. Anything that you purchase that is over $50 on yarnspirations.com the shipping is free to you if you are Canadian or American. So you can then take advantage of that. I will tell you though at this time of producing this video is that a $50 shopping cart this is not even worth $50. That's what I'm saying. So you have to purchase a little bit more in order to get that free shipping but you know what what's a few extra balls we all love our yarn right. So that kind of gives you an indication on um, what you're looking at for the cost of this. But the cost and everything will be available to you on yarnspirations.com. So I would personally love if you would support my creativity. This is our very first ever product. This is my very first ever professional design and I would love it very sincerely if you would just take an opportunity and purchase one of these kits and just really show your appreciation for all the free education and the ideas that we have on a daily level here on thecrochetcrowd.com. I know it's a lot to ask but you know what I really think that this is a great opportunity to be able to own 
very first product ever of the crochetcraft.com. So, so without further ado, I'll let you make a decision and until next time it's Mikey on behalf of the crochet crowd as well as yarnspirations.com. We'll see you and please enjoy my new app.